Kims. Hello everyone, I am Jenny Axler and welcome to this next video in our CubeRail series. In this one, we are going to talk about Bluetooth connectivity specifically to mobile devices. We are going to demonstrate this via iOS with an iPad mini. However, the process is very similar uh, when you are using Android, especially Android 13, in that there are the two pieces, the keyboard and the Braille connection. So we'll take a look at that now, so let's get to it. Okay, so we have the cube rail and we're gonna start with the iPad. Now, in our previous videos, we talked about hybrid mode and we talked about it specifically with Windows. And we explained that when you're pairing, the left half of the keyboard controls braille pairings and the right half of the keyboard controls keyboard pairings. This is extremely useful when you're using a PC. However, in mobile mode, I think it really depends on the user because we have a lot of braille display commands in both iOS and Android. Also, the level of support that's required isn't quite the same. It's a little bit different because you may not be doing as many productivity tasks and you may not need the hybrid mode. I'm going to show you how to use that, but you could choose to only use the second part of what I'm going to show you. So the first thing that we need to do is to get into connectivity. So I'm at the main menu on my cube rail and it shows notepad, which is the top item. I'm going to arrow down and you can see the next item here is connectivity. If you can read the braille display, I could have also used space four on the braille keyboard. So I'm going to press enter. Now I have connection USB if I arrow down I have connection Bluetooth Braille, and if I arrow down one more time, I have connection keyboard. If I arrow down once more, it does show me the pairing list. So if I did want to access previously connected devices, that's one way to access it. There are also shortcuts to get us there. I'm going to arrow back up to Bluetooth keyboard, and I'm gonna press enter here. So it says pairing mode, Cube Braille XL. And this is what you need for the keyboard mode. So if you do decide to connect both the keyboard and the Braille display parts of this, you want to connect the keyboard first and the Braille display second. In Windows, this doesn't matter so much, but in mobile mode, things will go smoother if you do it this way. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to settings on my iPad. Settings, do new items. Settings. And what I want now is Bluetooth settings because I'm going to connect to the standard keyboard portion of this. So. App, Jennifer Axler, Apple ID suggestions, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, button, Bluetooth, on, button. And this is what I want. Bluetooth, heading. So now I'm gonna to go to this other side. My devices, heading. Goes mini, Braille Edge, Jenny's AirPods, Pro, Magic Key, Sense Play, Sense Player, other devices, in progress, heading, Cube XL 0000, button. This is actually what I'm looking for, Cube Rail XL 0000. You might have something different than zeros for this number, but what you're looking for is the Cube Rail XL connection. So I'll double tap this. Cube Rail XL 0000, connecting. And we are connecting, so we'll give it a minute. Bluetooth on. So now we are back to our Bluetooth settings and on the braille display, it pops up and says connected to iPhone and it says in parentheses keyboard. So now if I arrow down, Cappy, Cappy, Bravo. I am accessing the keyboard on my iPad. Now discoverable is iPhone 74, my devices, heading, goes mini eye sound link, braille edge 15, not connected, button. Actions now, available. this is going to act like a voiceover keyboard. So you would use VoH to go home, etc. So to get the Braille commands that you're used to, as well as Braille output, we now need to connect the Braille connection. And to do this, we're actually going to use the hotkey because we're already in connectivity. It's easier to do this. So once you're in connectivity, as I explained, the left half is going to be your Braille connections and the right half is going to be your keyboard connections in terms of your function keys, F1 to F12. So I want to do a pairing with F1 for my Braille connection. So I'm going to press the pairing key 
plus the F1. Now it says pairing mode braille edge 0000. The braille edge connection is the braille display connection. And for this, I actually need to use voiceover. So we're still in our settings on the iPad. I'm going to return to this. Selected. Bluetooth. On. Button. And I'm going to go down Accessibility. here. Button. Accessibility is what I want. Accessibility. Heading. And I'm going to go over Zoom. here. Button. Voiceover. Vision. Voiceover. On. Button. And I'm going to double tap this. Accessibility. Back button. And speaking rate, 65%. Adjustable. I'm going to swipe. Speech. Braille. Voice. Ooh. Braille. Braille, Braille is 15. what we want. So I'm going to double tap. Output. A dot. Voiceover. Back button. And I'm going to just swipe here. Word wrap. On. Braille alert. Ignore court. Auto advance. Choose a Braille. Selected. Braille edge 15. But magic keyboard. Q Braille X. Braille edge 0000. Button. Okay. And it gives me Braille edge 000. So I'm going to double tap this. Braille edge 0000. Q Braille XL 0000. Connected. Button. So you heard several things happen here. You heard a sound on the iPad letting you know that it was connected. You also heard a sound on the Q Braille letting you know that it was connected. And now if I press the down arrow. Magic keyboard. Button. Q Braille XL 0000. Searching. Dimmed. You can actually see my Braille display moving as well. So we have both the keyboard and the Braille edge connected. So as I mentioned, there are two parts to this. There is the Braille display and there is the keyboard. And as I mentioned before, you can just connect the Braille output. And if you do that without connecting the keyboard and you're not in hybrid mode, you can just use the Braille keyboard to operate. So space H for home. Settings, two new items. And Safari. space four. CAI, page one of two, doc, FaceTime, files. Just as you normally would with voiceover. So if you don't feel the need to use the keyboard part of this, and you don't, um, in mobile mode you often don't, you can just connect the Braille connection. In that case, when you go to the connectivity menu, you can choose Bluetooth Braille and connect only that connection. If you want that combination where you're able to use voiceover keys and quick nav and the various things that you might do on a keyboard and you want all those other commands, then you can connect both in the way that I just showed you. So generally that's how it works. Android is going to be a similar process. You will connect the keyboard first. Again, you'll go into connections and Bluetooth and you'll see it as a keyboard. If you are using Android 12 or earlier, you will then have to deal with the Braille display part of it via Brailleback, which means you'll connect it with Bluetooth and then via Brailleback. If you're using Android 13, the process is very parallel. You're just going to use Google accessibility instead of voiceover. But again, you're going to go to Bluetooth settings and connect the keyboard first, then go to accessibility settings and connect the Braille display second. Again, remember that your left half of the keyboard is your Braille connections. So if you were going to connect a second display, you would press the pairing key plus F2 for your Braille connection and the pairing key plus F7 for your second keyboard connection. And generally, that's all there is to it. It does seem to be a bit complicated, but once you go through this a couple of times, and remember once again, for the mobile devices, you might just prefer to connect only the Braille connections, and that is certainly acceptable, as there are many, many Braille commands for mobile devices. Remember also that you can change modes by using the mode key in that you can turn hybrid mode on and off. So if you just want the keyboard connection, you can return to that using your pairing key plus F678. Or if you just want the Braille connection, even if you've established both, you can return to that using pairing key plus F1234. However, you can turn both on and off by pressing that mode key. Now, all of this is covered in our video on JAWS and Windows. That's also in this playlist. So for more information, please do refer to that. 
For more information about any of our HIMSS products, you can visit our website at www.himsintl.com or send us an email at hymns at Thanks for watching.